What's up guys, this is Fomedin of FOTK and this is going to be a video on how to create a, you know, effective rain within um, After Effects. It's not Cinema 4D or Real Flow, um, just purely After Effects, but you do need um, a plugin called Trap Code Particular. Um, and basically I'm going to run through how you can do this and it's a 3D space rain, so we're going to have to do a bit of motion tracking as well. So I've got a scene here, which is just a basic little cinematic, um, which I'm just going to track and add rain to. So First of all, we need to select our footage and track it. So we'll come to our After Effects tracker. So we come to animation and we go track camera. And it should do all the work for you. So you just wait for the initialize in here and then it'll go into how many frames it's done and whatnot. Um, it's going really slow, unfortunately, because I am rendering. Um, sorry, I thought I was rendering, but let me just save that and exit. So then hopefully it will speed up a bit. So once this is all done then we're going to start creating the rain. If it tracks. Okay. Right now it's solving the camera so that's cool. There we are. So now as you can see we've got all these points on our footage and what you want to do is you want to sort of select pretty much whichever one that allows you know so this um, radial type target uh, basically acts as our floor plane so we need that to be the same level as our floor in the scene so luckily ours is fine pretty much every single one you know looks like it's on the floor um, so I'm just going to pick one in the middle ish just because the whole thing moves so you try and want to try and keep the you know the actual solve um, to as close to the center as possible in your scene so you know this is where the camera starts it ends here so if I go halfway it'll be around this area where you want your solve to be um, I found one just then there we go Hang on. so you need to just hover over the one you found which you like sorry and then right click and you go to create solid and camera so there we go, then you have this nice purple plane inserted. So you can now move forward and backwards and that plane will stay there. Which is good news because that is where, that's, sorry, that's what's going to act as our floor um, for our trap code particular. So what I'll do is I'll just hide this. Um, obviously the camera is able to maneuver round the floor because it's, it's just a camera that's moving in 3D, not the scene. That's just place set, it's the camera that's doing all that, so doing all the work. So there we go, we can just hide that and we can go and create a new solid. Make it the comp size and uh, we'll make it white. There we go, and if you're familiar, you just want to go to effects, trap code particular, pop that in. And then we've got all of our settings, so these are the ones that you would have to use. Uh, if we go to the emitter tab first, and we'll just do it, you know, section by section. Um, particles per second, I would do about 5,000. It depends how much rain you want. Um, but these are the settings that I've used. Um, so if you just want to follow along and then adjust them at the end, that's cool. And the emitter type needs to go to box. Um, now, I might want to move forward a bit just so you can see the actual particles. Uh, first, because frame naught, nothing is emitted yet, so that's all good. Move forward just to a, a bit. So we've got our box now. What we need to do is um, select our emitter size. Now, basically, what you want to do is you want to do it on a large surface, basically like a floor. X and Y axis you want to be increased, but just not the Y, because basically this is just going to be put above into the sky. And then the particular will just let it drop. Um, so basically, this is where the rain will, the position for where the rain will start. So if I just add 5000 to the X and Z, we can now see that we have sort of more spread out, sort of um, level emitter, like emitted object. I don't know, I don't even know what to call it. But yeah, you got this. And then what you want to do is you want to just position. Um, what I usually do is I'll take the coordinates from here. So what actually what I want to do is you want to get the position of the 
track solid, which is the um, uh, the floor for this uh, camera track, and you want to just copy and paste that one. So the first one is 272, and that sorry particular, and that will go on the X, which is the you know X Y Z. So we can copy and paste that in there, and then the Y, which is the middle one, onto this one, and then Z onto this one, which is just below it. And basically, that is positioned our. Um, oh, so, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting my words. Um, that's basically started emitting from this object um, because it's in the same position. If I started going from a point, you can see it's dead center of this plane. So that's basically what we want to see. So we can go back to box now, and we've got our loads of particles. What we want to do is you just want to get this position Z. Uh, no, sorry, I'm doing it wrong. Position Y, and just bring that up. Just put it into the sky, that will do. You're like going to have to do it until it's off screen, but we'll do that in a bit. And I think that's it for the, for the emitter tab, which it is. So now we can go to Particle. And we're going to set the, the life, uh, keep it three. Um, the life random will stay there. The sphere, um, and the sphere feather stay the same. The only thing is, the only thing you need to change is the opacity, which is 75%. Um, because you don't want it to be completely in your face. Um, so that's all good. Uh, everything else looks fine. Alright, then we'll go to our, um, physics tab. And this is where all the, 3D bounce and splashes come involved. So you want to go from air to bounce. And once, sorry, once you've done that, you want to go gravity to 600. And the reason you want this is because you want our rain to fall. So I, I thought, when is it going to fall? But then I just realized it's the next step. So the gravity, you know, the rain is now falling. Well, it looks like snow at the minute, but we won't have to worry about that just yet. So, yep, snow, uh, rain's coming down, however, they're just passing through the floor, which is not good. So we want to come into our little bounce uh, tab, which has been created once you've select bounce, and you've got floor layer, and I think you know where, you, where we're going with this. Um, you choose the track solid, which is this purple sheet here. So if I now take that off, we can see the rain coming down and just dying at the floor. Oh no, it's not dying, it's just staying there. Uh, but we we don't want it to stay there. What we want to do is we want it to kill. We want it to disappear. And then we're going to create a bounce later on. So, uh, where it goes, uh, you go, the infinite, non-infinite, uh, wall mode. No, sorry. Collision event, kill. So now our snow's coming down and it's just killing. It's like it's just passing through through the floor, just you can't see it, if that makes sense. We've got a floor, but it's, it's just passing through and disappearing underneath it. Um, and then 50, 30, and 80 are fine just like that. I think, no, sorry, uh, which one is it? Infinite, no, no, that's fine. And then we need to come to our auxiliary system. And where we go, emit, we want... Uh, at bounce event. So as you can see now we've got the boing 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 boing, boing all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, so, sorry if you can hear the dogs barking, uh, no, they're kind of putting me off. <laughs> um, so then these are all the settings that you want. You want 100 for the probability, you want 5 for the collision, uh, 0.5 for the life, that's all kept the same. 150 velocity, and I keep size at 5 because that we want the sort of the size of the bounce to be the same size as our particle, and our particle size is 5. I mean, you can always adjust these later uh, if it looks funny or whatnot. And I think that is all good. Uh, 550 opacity over life will have to go. Um, hang on, it. We want this one um, because obviously we want our rain to start bouncing and then it will disappear. So you, I don't know if you can see, if I try and zoom in, they are bouncing but some are disappearing as well. 
So if you look at this area right here, as I just scroll through, they disappear. That's gone now. Um, so that's the type of effect we want. And then, uh, da -da -da, uh, where was it? Control. Uh, I'm looking for motion blur. It is rendering. It? Yeah, yeah. Rendering, motion blur. There we go, and we want to go to uh, on. So then, as you can see here, it's more rain. You know, it's not, it's not snow anymore. It's finally rain. Um, so that's all good. And then we want to change the color of our auxiliary system. So where do we go for that one? Um, color from main, hundred percent. There we go. So now, if I well, we have got a bit of a problem actually, yeah. which is good because um, we can fix it. Um, our rain is coming down and bouncing on the ground. However, it's only in this area. You know, where's the rest? Easy fix for that is obviously the emitter. Ah, there's where we've gone wrong. Where we want our emitter size um, X and Z to be 5,000, this is 500. So no problem. 5,000 that and boom. All across the floor now. So if I give that a nice render, you can see the rain coming down. And it's bouncing, so that's all good. So then again, if you, you know, if you think, oh wow, these splashes are a bit too big, that's all right. You come down to the uh, auxiliary uh, system tab, and you go for size, and you can pop that down to whatever you want, make it just a bit smaller. And as I mentioned earlier, our position Y needed to be off screen. Otherwise, um, I'll show you why. If I just flip this, you can see rain just all of a sudden starts coming out of the air. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, so what we want to do is we just want to go to Particular, Position Y, and just bring that up above our scene. So it's out of shot. So it's around about here. And then that will eventually come down onto the scene. And there you go. You now have a Call of Duty map that has realistic type rain, which is all done in After Effects. Um, and that's all good. So I hope you like this video, guys. Um, Sorry there's a bit of cock ups every now and again. It's just um instead of just copying tutorials, I'm trying to remember them as well. Um so that that's sort of you know, I was thinking, oh what have I done there? Uh, and all that stuff. But we got there, so it's cool. Uh, no major issues. And we've managed to fix any problems, so that's all good. Um so please like this comment uh, please like this video, sorry. Comment um if you want any more tutorials and I'll see you next video. Peace.